Now let's go over the V7 design. V7 boasts of its excellent display of ultrasound images with an LCD monitor screen of 21.5 inches with LED backlight. The system provides a 14-inch touchscreen with high sensitivity. General and flexible menus can be configured for each mode with touch edit. Let me show you an example. I will replace IOTA Agnes and ElastoScan Plus with MV Flow and Shadow HDR. And I will move the frequently used image parameters Clear Vision and Multivision to the front. Tap the Save icon to save the changes. There are six holders around the control panel which can store probes of various sizes. For meticulous patient management, Gel Warmer keeps the gel warm with two temperature levels. The integrated QWERTY keyboard located right below the control panel is a slide-out keyboard with soft touch keys capable of accurate inputs. With the keyboard, annotation input is possible by pressing the spacebar. For example, let me type in Fetus A for chamber view. Text-related functions such as delete word and set home can be executed on the keyboard as well. Also, you can hide or show the patient and image information. And access the patient page from the keyboard. V7 holds four probe ports. A probe can be connected to the system anytime whether the system is turned on or off. Insert the probe connector with the tail of the cable facing upward and rotate the handle clockwise to have it fixed. Turn the handle counterclockwise to take out the probe. The functions of the control panel are constructed and arranged very intuitively. Let me introduce the UI of the control panel starting from the left to the right. The power button used to turn on and off the system is located on the upper left corner. Right below power is the USB port. You can easily insert your USB to backup, export, and restore your exams. Images can be saved to the USB during an exam by pressing the P key. In the middle of the control panel is the ultrasonography zone. This area contains the controls that are most frequently used during an ultrasound examination. M, PD, PW, C, and 2D modes can be assessed by pressing the respected knobs, and the gain can be adjusted for each mode by turning the knob. You can enter the 3D multiplanar mode or 4D live by pressing 3D or 4D. Let me explain the keys around the trackball starting from the right. Caliper is used for simple measurement like distance. Measure includes more various measurement items. The measurement results from these items will appear on report page. Annotation is for text insertion. Delete removes text body marker or measurement. A long press of the button will delete all items. These two keys are capable of changing to the most frequently used functions for each specific mode, which enables fast and diverse work steps for the users. There are a total of five keys that you can customize. Three are peripheral keys and two are user keys. For each key, you can designate a specific function. Let's start an ultrasound exam. Tap the patient icon on the touch screen. Input patient information such as the patient ID, last name, first name, date of birth, and gender. In the OB study information tab, when you enter the LMP, 
the EDD and GA will be automatically calculated. You can also select the physician and operator over here. Once all the necessary information is inserted, press the Start Exam button. Next, tap the probe icon on the touch screen and select the probe and preset. In this case, we will select second trimester. Now we're in scan mode. The key configuration can be seen on the bottom of the screen. You can quickly change the frequency by pressing the contextual keys rather than reaching out your hand to turn the knob. QuickScan provides intuitive optimization of grayscale and Doppler parameters. With just a swipe of the finger, the TGC can be quickly and accurately adjusted on the highly sensitive touchscreen. Save TGC on user preset by first tapping the TGC button, then selecting Save as preset, and lastly tapping the TGC preset box. This is a brain image of a fetus in a second trimester. You can reduce the shadow and brighten the area by simply using Shadow HDR. Now we will observe the BPD plane of a fetal brain. V7 provides biometric solution that enables semi-automatic measurements. Let me show you how it works. First, press the measure button. Tap BPD, use the trackball to make changes, and press set to confirm the measurement. Tap HC, confirm the measurement for the outer edge of the skull by pressing set, and adjust the circumference using the trackball and press set to confirm. This reduces key strokes and saves time as well as exhibit precise performance. To view measurement results and report, tap the report icon. On the top, patient information, fetus GA, EDD, and EFW are presented. You can see the results in graph form by clicking OB graph. On this current page, you can go over the graphs one at a time by clicking on the item of your choice. To insert certain graphs in report, check the boxes next to the measurement items you would like displayed. To view the graphs before printing, press Preview. The selected graphs will be displayed on the Report Preview page. You can print out this report page by clicking Print. Color demonstration. Now let's look at a fetal heart image. I will turn on the color mode for this image. Press color to turn on the color mode and rotate the knob counterclockwise to decrease the color gain. To give a 3D like appearance, you can apply LumiFlow. This makes beautiful vascular images and helps to understand the structure of blood flow. Now I will show you how to make measurements for the MCA on the PW spectrum. First, press the measure button. Then select MCA on the touch screen and press auto trace. The system will automatically measure the entire spectrum and other related results will appear on the screen. This is an image of the fetal kidney in S-flow mode. We will apply MV-flow to visualize the intrarenal blood flow in more detail. After pressing MV-flow, you can see the inner lobular vessels as well as other micro vessels. You can apply LumiFlow on MVFlow images to give a glow effect to the vascular flow. 3D 4D demonstration. With quick preset, I will change the probe and preset to CV1-8AD 
OB second trimester. Press 3D and select a preset. The default preset is optimized for fetal face. The 3D ROI will appear. You can increase or decrease the volume angle using the knob. The 3D ROI can be modified by first pressing the change key and then using the trackball to change the ROI size depending on the target structure. To assign the ROI, press the change key once again and press set. To exclude unnecessary structures in front of the face, use curved ROI. Acquire the 3D image by pressing set. Now I will press FAD, which stands for Fetal Face Auto Detection. This reduces noise as well as automatically detects the face and removes limbs that may obscure the face. You can see the four different types of render mode. It is a preview of what the image will look like when you apply the mode. This will allow you to quickly and easily change the images to the mode of your choice. Currently, Surface Max is applied, but with just a tap, it can be changed to Realistic View Crystal View. Touch gesture allows you to intuitively manipulate the volume data on the touch panel using your fingers. By swiping your finger left and right or up and down, you can rotate the volume data around the Y and X axis. Each volume plane can be reviewed by changing the reference slice with your fingertip. Also, you can freely change and apply the light direction according to the movement of your finger. The 3D Volume Save function can be assigned to User Key by going to Setup, Customize, and the User Key tab. You will select the desired key. In this case, I will choose P1. Select the Store, Send, Print option, check Store, and lastly, select single volume from the 3D combo box. You can see that the volume data is stored with the P1 key. Tap the Sono View icon to review images. The Cine loops on the page can be played simultaneously by clicking play on the bottom left corner of each image. Unnecessary images can be deleted before having them transferred to packs by selecting the images and pressing delete. I will designate the MCA MV Flow image as a favorite image by selecting the image and pressing favorite. Now I will show you how to print. After selecting the images to print, press the print button. To print the image in a bigger size, set the orientation to landscape. You can change the layout over here. In this case, I will change the layout to 2x2. Two Lastly, press end exam to complete the exam. With Samsung V7, it will boost up your confidence in obstetric imaging with remarkable image quality and advanced technology.